On the other side of the kitchen, Michael's getting cracking on summer veg to serve with his lobster. Baby carrots, fennel, asparagus, peas, spring cabbage and raw beans. More vegetables? Absolutely, I'm the veg man. What I do is, is it's a great way of working if you're at home as well. Is cook off the veg in advance, stop the cooking process by putting it on ice and then we'll reheat it at the last minute. So what's going to happen with the veg? How are they going to be presented? Well, they're going to be presented leaning off and giving a little bit of height to the lobster. I'm going to add a little bit of tarragon and butter to the carrots and I'm going to cook the leeks and fennel in, in the salted water, the peas, and I've got a few broad beans as well. So mm. that's the young vegetable sorted out. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you get on with your, your bits no and pieces here. John's whipping up a creamy topping for his crab consomme. Simple enough, fresh cream and horseradish sauce. He's now ready to plate up, but Michael's lagging behind. He's still frying his lobster. It's all about preparation. When it comes to serving, yeah. I'm just Mr. Cool. What can I say? But I did warn him. So John's in good shape, but across the kitchen, Michael's sauce is not going as planned. Not quite what I expected. What? Uh, blend is not great, but... Uh, I would taste it. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Just a little bit of work to be done on that. Oh, it's lovely there. Give me one more minute, please. John serving the hot consomme in a coffee cup topped with horseradish cream and chives. This sits alongside the cold shore crab, which is complemented by Melba toast and pickled cucumber. Michael serving his pan-fried lobster in a spicy saffron sauce with summer vegetables. Plate it up and beautiful. Mm. It's, it's nice because Both look fantastic. it's little yeah. and it's very light. It looks lovely. And you have a sip of that and you just, mm. what yeah, you've yeah, got to do yeah. is you pick the cup up and you have to sip it through suck the, the yeah. crab soup through the cream. And Michael, you've just about finished that? Yeah, that's it, really. That looks beautiful, really, a little picture, isn't it? A work of art. <gasps> what a performance. Can you really do that for 300 people? Well, I'm going to simplify this for 300 people. It's time to put their fish courses on the line as the chefs try one another's dishes in private, and we get to hear what they really think of their rivals' cooking. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's nice. Nice fresh crab. Nice, nicely presented. The consomme. Really, it's okay. I've um, got a lot of chive on there. Mm, rather begrudging compliments from Michael. But you know, what carries a dish is the freshness of the crab and the intensity of the little bisque with the horseradish cream. You know, too sure it needed the tomato petals like that, or the egg. I'm not too sure the egg's really contributing. Well, if John's dish is all too fussy, how does it compare with his own? It doesn't have so much uh, impact. It, there's not as much going on in the flavour, whereas it mine's lobster with a bisque, but then it's got spicing and, 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 uh, and other elements through the sauce. Michael clearly thinks he's onto a winner, but I somehow doubt that John will agree. Totally different dishes. One's showing off lobster, one's showing off two types of crab. Well, that's stating the obvious, but there's more to come as John does some quick calculations. Uh, the only thing I'd say about mine, it's doable and it's doable but for numbers. This one, a dish on its own by itself, or a table of four, fantastic. 350, it'll all fall apart. Well, that's two courses down and two to go. On Friday, our panel of judges will taste all the dishes the chefs have created and make the big decision. Whose menu is the best overall?